if you're a free to play player in rise of kingdoms and you want to specialize in a specific troop type which is the best one that you should pick this is an important decision that you should be making early on because investments in legendary commanders and legendary equipment are super expensive so you don't want to lock yourself down a path that you're going to regret later so today we're going to talk about it we're going to talk about the best troop type that you should focus on as a free to play player what's going on guys cheers make sure you stay hydrated this is vodka I mean water okay now the first thing I want to talk about is the civilizations and also sort of the stats of the units themselves okay uh, the stats of the units are sort of an interesting thing because really unless you're talking about a special unit like the Janissary here a lot of the different units have similar stats across the different troop types the only exception to that is obviously cavalry are faster than other unit types archers and infantry have a different base movement speed as well but really cavalry stand out as being the fastest because they ride on a horsey so you know they're just going to be quicker but with that obvious advantage to the side we have to talk about a couple of key civilizations that are the best in the late game first of all there's ottoman okay and this is going to be a point towards archers because the Ottoman Empire is a very commonly used civilization in the end game no matter which troop type you're really using because the March speed and the skill damage are universal that goes for any troop type but if you do pick archers not only do you benefit from both of those things but you gain five percent health which is huge and you get a special unit which typically have higher total base stats than the other generic units so you're getting a little bit of extra value on your ottoman empire choice by going full archers now talking about cavalry we have germany and a lot of players use germany in the off season but if you're a free to play player and you don't like to switch you know back and forth between uh different civilizations whether you're in kvk versus not kvk um this could be a benefit to the cavalry players or players who choose to focus on cavalry because they can pick germany and they can pretty much just stay there all the time whether they're in kvk or not uh if you're in kvk you're getting a special unit the teutonic knights you're also gaining a nice cavalry attack bonus for your cavalry commanders uh and then you get to continue to have the benefits that you would in the off season so you don't have to worry about constantly changing civilizations and i think that that's nice if you do decide to be a cav player now i wouldn't recommend staying germany in war there are better choices that you could pick in war but i'm just saying for those of you that just don't want to change all the time then germany is nice if you pick calves and finally if we're talking about infantry we have france and the thing that i like about france for free to play players is that the troop health here is universal and later in the video we're going to talk more about sort of the breakdown on how your actual armies are going to be built uh, and this helps out a ton pretty much no matter what army you're using whether it's cavalry whether it's archers or whether it's infantry the benefit for infantry is that obviously they get the throwing axemen and I believe this actually has the highest base health out of any of the infantry special units or any infantry unit in general so this is really nice and also the hospital healing speed for whales is not that exciting but for free-to-play players they might be able to get some nice use out of that because free-to-play players might be below vip 15. if you guys didn't know vip 15 gets you the 50 percent healing speed so if you're vip 14 or lower then you're going to get a disproportionately higher amount of value out of being france and typically those players are going to be free to play so when it comes to civilizations i think the winner is ottoman but when it comes to like actual base stats and performance in the open field i think cavalry do take it here because again they can still benefit from the ottoman empire civilization just a little bit less than the archers and they still walk away with their faster march speed on top of that extra five percent okay next let's talk about commanders because i think this is probably one of the biggest um points of contention here when we're talking about specializing in a unit and i'm just going to come out and say it at the very front end of this portion here and we're going to get into some more detail but the technically best choice if you're very patient is cavalry that is the best choice for open field because you can pair your nevsky with your joan of arc prime and you can pair your william either with a saladin which is a budget build 5551 which is great for free to play players because william can be budget build as well or if you really have extra commander sculptures then you can go into uh zhang yu okay pair him with william and that's again a nice build but the saladin william is budget and that is what we're looking for as 
free to play now the reason that i said that this is technically the best choice is because it's true if you're only building a few armies in the open field right now cavalry are dominating the open field meta for good reason especially nevsky joan absolutely insane march but nevsky and joan are both season of conquest commanders and it's it, it's not logical to tell a player when they first start that they should be basically saving all their sculptures from the moment that they start all the way in the season of conquest just so that way they can max out uh, nevsky and joan by the time that they get there because they're going to be bored before that happens so players are going to want to invest in commanders along the way whether it's before season one of kvk or in season one two and three and if that is the case the best choices for commanders that you can pick in those scenarios are ysg alexander the great and you could also make the argument for saladin as well but really these first two are very very good saladin definitely sliding into third place but you'll notice here that even though cavalry is technically the correct choice both of these commanders that as a free-to-play player you are being told to work on are not cavalry commanders so that's why it takes more patience to go for cavalry because by the time you get to season of conquest the marches that you're going to be using are not going to be cavalry there's going to be an archer march and an infantry march and then you're going to start to work on cavalry by the time that you get there unless of course you go for uh, saladin first which is absolutely a choice that you could make if you can you know get him from a mightiest governor event win which as a free-to-play player is typically very hard in a new server so just keep that in mind you will eventually of course get new ways to get saladin later in the game but if you're already in season of conquest you may skip saladin because you have better options so that's kind of why saladin is in this weird weird gray area where yes he's free to play friendly but by the time you can guarantee get him it might be too late now what i do want to mention here is that for free to play players the, the reality is and and this is for all players right the truth is that you are going to be using some combination of every single troop type okay if you're an infantry main player then you're probably going to focus on two or three infantry marches but you're still going to have an archer march you're still going to have a cavalry march because you're training those troops anyway right and some of these commanders even if you focus on one troop type some of the commanders from the other troop types are just so absolutely insane they're so good that you're really putting your account at a disadvantage by being sort of loyal to one troop type anyway so again the technical best choice is cavalry and what i would recommend there is um you know if you're working your way up to season of conquest and you do max out what ysg which i do recommend um it's not like it's going to go to waste because you're a cavalry main eventually you're going to you know invest in boudica or some other archer commander uh and you're going to get used out of your ysg because the odds are you probably will run at least one archer march in the open field and the same thing if you do go for alexander the great uh you can always pair him with somebody like cpo primary and have a really solid march or guan yu as well i think cpo is a better choice than guan yu um just as a commander investment but you know guan alex is a decent commander pair that you could go with as well so even as a cavalry main you're gonna get use out of those early game commanders but it's just gonna take a really long time to start focusing on the main point of your account which is cavalry but commanders aren't the only thing that you have to consider when we're talking about the late game because you also have to talk about equipment and equipment is increasingly more and more important as players get their hands on more and more iconic crystals as you can see here almost all the pieces for my cpo have iconic crystals in them and iconic crystals if you're a new player and you don't know they increase the base stats of your units which means that number that is multiplied by every other base uh, by every other stat that you're accumulating whether it's on your commander stats whether it's on your city skin whether it's from your civilization so increasing the base stats is a really big deal so iconic crystals really move the needle a ton and it makes it so that way you really are incentivized to use legendary gear so unfortunately that's not always going to be the case for free to play players so what are the best choices what is the best troop type to pick for free to play player equipment honestly i think this is a close matchup between archers and infantry uh, i think cavalry have some good pieces but unfortunately they don't move the needle as much as the free equipment for the other troop types and it's not like they're that bad it's just that i think that infantry and archers are slightly better and the reason that i say that is because you have the hope cloak you also have the eternal knight and you also have uh, shio's return these are three legendary pieces 
for infantry that you can get for free by playing through the game now it does take a while to get there and are they the best in slot well the hope cloak i would say yes is best in slot the eternal knight uh is really a side upgrade from Karak's humility however um again you can put that iconic crystal in there which does make it better and especially you know if you get the special talent then clearly it is better than Karak's humility but having the ability to get your hands on three different legendary pieces for free by opening up crystal keys or by getting your hands on them in the kvk lost canyon shop okay you're guaranteed a way to get your hands on this which is not the case for archers or for cavalry uh, and i think that that is really big for the late game now the reason that i think archers are sort of tied with them is because archers have the revival set and that is the only full epic set in the game which does technically provide slightly more stats for archers when we're talking about full purple sets um the reality is that in season of conquest you're not going to be using full purple sets but um the fact that you know my Boudica prime right here she's got pretty good gear I got very lucky with the special talents here but overall like this gear is solid and it's a majority purple right it's a majority obviously I'd like to replace um, maybe this accessory here but in general we have four purple pieces to the two legendary pieces and I think overall that's a really good build and with only needing two legendaries it's pretty cheap to get yourself a build like this I think I'm going to give the edge slightly here to infantry because they also have the gatekeeper shield which compared to the Sakura Fubuki it performs very similarly and neither of them have the ability to get a iconic crystal plus the fact that you don't really need to use the Shio's boots because you can just talent the frost treads and get almost the same stats there anyway I think infantry technically has slightly better value for free to play in the equipment department but I think archers are really really close they're right there as well now if we're talking about city skins this is actually a place where infantry kind of lose because unless you have a zenith of power skin you're really limited with the skins that you do have for infantry um, a lot of players use like the gingerbread house or some other infantry health skin like the white tower I used to use white tower all the time before I got my zenith of power because it looks way cooler than the stupid gingerbread house but the truth is right now that most players for open field fighting are using the twilight falls and that is because most players like I said are using a combination of different troop types so infantry cavalry and archers in their open field fighting all at the same time and the best way to perform well with all of them is to have a buff that applies to all of them which includes the five percent skill damage here and also aoe skill damage is the meta so buffing that is huge and as you'll see here infantry actually lose in this one because they lose 10 percent extra attack so when it comes to a city skin perspective um unless you can get lucky with the zenith of power infantry do not have a really good option because they don't have a legendary kvk shop skin i don't understand it this has been something players have complained about for a long time but we have a legendary uh, archer attack and then here we have legendary cavalry defense we have nothing for infantry so yeah even the top copy palace is archer defense like what is going on here i don't understand why it's been literally years that this shop has existed and we still don't have a legendary uh, city skin so again most players are going to use twilight falls which definitely will debuff your um infantry so that is a, a downside for infantry so there's really no winner for this category i guess you would say it's archers because top copy palace is a almost guaranteed legendary skin that gives you 10 percent of nice stats for your archers um but i think the one for cavalry is just fine as well so really i would say this is a tie between cavalries and archers with infantry coming in last so what is the conclusion what is the best troop type that you can be picking as a free to play player i think the correct answer is still cavalry okay despite the fact that their gear might not be as free to play friendly as the other options and despite the fact that a lot of players are using ottoman which has an archer special unit i still think that performance wise in the open field uh cavalry is the best choice but also you have to consider that it will probably take longer to get the optimal cavalry four or five army build 
in the open field now i just want to say that free-to-play players i don't think i've ever talked to a free-to-play player that always uses five armies in the open field it, it just doesn't really happen it doesn't make sense it just fills your hospital too quickly uh and you probably don't have five armies that are of equal power anyway so why would you hinder yourself by using uh you know putting troops into a worse army it doesn't make sense so most players um are only going to be using if you're free to play probably between two and four armies in the open field and four being like a really long-term free to play player who's been free to play and grinding for like two or three years right and if that's the case i think the best four march setup that you could do uh, as a free to play player would be Nevsky primary with Joan of Arc secondary and then you can either do like I said earlier Zhang Yu with William as secondary uh or Saladin with William as secondary and then I would say use a Guan with Scipio and a Boudicca with YSG now the Archer one can change because we are expecting new Archer legendary commander soon and I suspect that one of those commanders will probably be the Archer meta for open fields we obviously don't know that at the time of recording this but I suspect that to be the case the other reason that I think Cavalry wins here not just because they have probably the best two March setup here uh, is also because they're faster like I said earlier they're literally faster they have faster March speed they have March speed on their talents here uh, you can get really good talent builds with your open field fighting and in the late game March speed becomes one of the most important stats for doing really well in the open field if you can't catch other players you can't get kill points if you can't run away from players then you can't save your troops okay so at the very end game March speed the, the value of March speed goes way up right in season of conquest because that will be the difference between getting kills and not getting kills which is how you're going to perform well in kvk or not now I will say that archers are probably in second place here mainly because you can start working on YSG so early and then you can just jump into season of conquest and hit the ground running by getting Boudicca by getting your hands on Artemisia, Artemisia who is a really good um budget build commander I actually don't have her invested in unfortunately she's beautiful I'm into the emo look okay but Artemisia you can do five five one one or something along those lines and have a really powerful secondary to Boudicca which will free up your YSG to go with somebody like Nebu or with a new archer legendary that has yet to come into the game who will probably also be super super powerful uh, and I think that will that would probably rival the dominance of cavalry in the open field and they'll have an easier access to equipment and they'll have a, a better choice of city skin and they'll have a special unit from Ottoman Empire uh, the downside though is they still will not be as fast as cavalry and they're literally countered by cavalry so not only can they not technically catch the cavalry they can't run away from cavalry and cavalry is what counters them so they can you know the, you have a, a huge disadvantage there as well so I think a lot of stars are aligning for archers right now and if you are a free-to-play player and you decide to go archers right now um then you, you'll be good and then that just leaves infantry in last place unfortunately they're the slowest troop type and uh they have some advantages and a lot of their commanders are insane I think if Alexander the Great had a better relic you could make a stronger case for infantry being the best choice for free to play but unfortunately his relic was and great and we saw Tarek and Sargon come into the game and while these are solid commanders uh they do not rival commanders like Joan of Arc so yeah that's the unfortunate state for infantry and they have no guaranteed legendary skin and Twilight Falls debuffs them now the final and true answer here is that again you're going to be using a mix of all these different troop types in the open field as a free-to-play player anyway and in the early game in the early days of Rise of Kingdoms um when players were still building building up their accounts it was more important to focus on a single troop type but now that we have such a wide variety of commanders uh it doesn't it's not as big of a choice as it used to be with that being said guys if you learned something and you found this video useful drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton of helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below your thoughts who is your favorite troop type to pick if you're a free, free to play player let me know who would you advise free to play players to focus on is it cavalry is it archers or is it infantry while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace